This is Jordan with The Verge, and I'm at the 2017 Detroit Auto Show, and behind me is Nissan's new sedan concept, the V-Motion 2.0. This isn't a typical concept car, full of amazing but ultimately meaningless specs and crazy power numbers. Instead, it's all about design, and what Nissan says will be the design direction for its next generation of self-driving cars. This looks straight out of Minority Report or iRobot. New screens designed for self-driving systems have been a theme of recent concept cars, and this is no different. An ultra-wide one-piece instrument cluster and infotainment system are designed for Nissan's ProPilot self-driving system, and both driver and passenger can see everything that's displayed. Rear seat passengers have a smaller screen on the back of the center console that can show similar information. The lighting around the Nissan emblem on the front grille and the rear diffuser glows when the car is in autonomous mode, signaling to other drivers and pedestrians that the computer is in control. It's something we've seen before as car makers try to figure out how self-driving cars will communicate with the outside world. Right up front is the V-Motion grille, but instead of being limited to just the nose, Nissan's designers have stretched the V along the entire length of the car. The crease creates a sharp edge that runs along the doors and right to the rear deck. Suicide doors, which likely won't make it to Nissan's next lineup of sedans, give the cabin an airy, spacious feel, and, most importantly, makes it easy for photographers to see the entire interior. Nissan describes the V-Motion with designer language like emotional geometry and gliding wing design theme, but my reaction is more basic. I just think it looks good. For the first time last quarter, Nissan's trucks and SUVs outsold its sedans. I'm a fan of the current Nissan Maxima, and if this is the future of that car, and it looks like it will be, sedans might not be on the way out after all. For more from the Detroit Auto Show, visit us at TheVerge.com, like us on Facebook, or subscribe on YouTube.